Hi, this is Gleb Bakhmutov, and I want to show you an application which throws an error. So in this case, we have a page, and when I click the button, the application throws an error. Well, the test is already finished, so it doesn't catch it. Let's change the test. So if we sigh, wait, and let's wait for a long time. So when it runs, if I click throw an error, the application throws an error after one second after the click application throws an error and Cypress by default catches the errors that are unhandled in the application. So you can see this using Cy get button error. So this corresponds to this button that throws an error after one second. So we'll find it and click it and because it throws an error after one second let's wait for 1100 seconds. Perfect. So if application throws unexpected error, the test fails. Sometimes you don't want the test to fail. So what do you do in this case? Well, in that case, you want to say, hey, whenever application has uncaught exception, then call this callback. And the callback will receive two arguments from Cypress. So the first argument is the exception itself. So I'll say error is and the second argument is runnable. So runnable could be the current test or the current hook, like before each, right? So you know where this application was thrown from. So if we do this, um, we'll see that the error is and the error message, right? So this is a original error wrapped by Cypress and it even shows where it's thrown from. So let's say that we want to ignore this error. Oh, before that, here's the runnable, the current test, right, that caught that error. Great. So imagine we say, I know this application throws an error. I want to ignore it from Cypress. The easiest thing to do is from this callback, let's do it on false. Right? The error is still thrown, right? We can see it, but Cypress ignores it. Ignoring all errors is dangerous. So what I would suggest you do, you would say, if error message includes, and here we'll say, what can it ignore? Things went bad, right? Then we'll return false. Perfect. So if it's expected error, we do nothing. But let's say for some reason we say this. Right, but application throws another error. Well, in that case, we will fail the test. Another trick is to not register it inside the test. So right now, when we use sci on, this callback, this listener, is only gonna work for the duration of a test. If you want to ignore it in every test, right? Let's say we duplicate this. We'll say two. Right? If we don't register in the second test, well, guess what? This test will ignore it and the second test will fail because we don't have any bad listener there. If you want to register for all tests, you can either use before each and register it like this. In that case, you, you register it twice or you can register it once using capital Cypress. In this case, this will be registered for all tests. Perfect. What people do if every test has to do that, they'll take this before and they'll move it to the support file. All right, that gets executed before the spec file. So this way you can just have it in one place, the common handler, and then every test will ignore that exception correctly.